So guys, in today's how-to video on course play, we're going to look at basic course generation. What is course play without courses? Pretty much nothing. So let's talk a little bit before we get into course play about some of the cool things that you can do with the mod. So course play basically allows you to turn farm sim into a farm management game. So in theory, you could send off your workers to do pretty much anything that you would do in game manually. Now there are a few exceptions, but they are few and far between. Uh, and one of the key aspects of getting course play workers to do what you want is in course generation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use course play to cultivate this field. This is on the starting farm over at Ravenport in new farmer mode. I'm gonna go ahead and just hook up to our weight. And one of the basic ways of setting up a course play course is to pull up to the field, pull up the mini map, and you can see we are at field 25. So what you want to do is we're going to right click, which is the default way of opening course play. Another way of opening it would be with left control delete. Okay, so if right click doesn't work, try left control plus the delete key. And we'll explain a little bit more about these features here in a future video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to field work, which is right here. And once we go to field work, we get this squiggly line button, which is course generation. So there are two ways to set up a course. We're going to set up this course, the old school way. And then we're going to set up another course with our harvester a different way. So we're going to go to field edge path and we're going to pick field 25. So there's two ways you can do this. I like to go down here, highlight it so it's blue, and then use the scroll wheel. Scroll up and down between my fields. Another way would be to go down here and click. Okay, now it's only going to show you the fields you own. There's no use in doing a course play course on a field that you do not own. What you can do is you can click this little calculator button and you'll get an interesting little bit of information about your field. So we have seed usage. Field 25 is 0.32 hectares. So if we were to seed this with barley, for example, we would use 160 liters of seed and it would cost $66. We can cycle through all of the different products or crops and we can see what the seed usage is going to be for any given crop on this particular field. So that can be rather useful when trying to figure out how much seed you're going to need for a particular field. Let's turn that off. And now we have the eye icon. If we click on that, we're basically going to get a blue line around the field that we have selected. So if you're really not sure that you are on the right field, you can just click the little blue icon to get a representation of that. Now, working with is going to be dealing with the working with of the implement that you have. Let's check the shop at our garage here and just check the working with. It typically will identify the working with correctly, but sometimes you just want to verify. So we have a working width of three meters. So course play has identified the working width of 2.9 meters. That's fine. It's good to have a little bit of an overlap, uh, but what we can do is we can click the calculate button. And it will try to auto calculate. You can see down here at the back. Let's get a little closer. Right behind the spindly tines. If we hit calculate again, we'll see it come up. Let's see if I can. There we go. Let's hit calculate one more time. So it is basically trying to calculate the width. Or if we're like, no, I would really like it to be exactly three meters, we can change it left or right or wider or narrower with the plus and minus keys. Let's do that a little bit. You can see we can make it narrower or we can make it wider if for any reason the auto detect isn't working. Now, in the old school way of doing course play, we basically had to set things up with compass coordinates. Okay, so if you look at the mini map, up is north. So the fields one, two, three, four, and five are north of us. The lime station is to the and the 
port grain elevator is to the west. So the left side of the map is west. The right side of the map is east and the bottom of the map is south. So if we try to orient ourselves here, okay, we are going to be going from right to left. So we're going to be going east to west. The starting location is going to be current vehicle position, or we could do north west, north east. That is where we are, because we are in the north east corner of this field. And now we want to go west. See here, we are going west. Turn to first waypoint. We're just going to say deactivated. We're not going to do a headland. We're not, we don't have any islands to bypass. And we only have one tool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to generate the course. See here, we have the start point. See up, possibly you can see up here at the far end of the field, we have our stop point. Go to the gears, we can click this button. And it's going to show us basically the entire course as the implement works its way up and down the field. Let me get rid of that. We're going to go here to the play, stop, pause, record button. And we're going to pick first waypoint. Now the best thing to do would be to back up just a little bit. We don't want to be too close to the first waypoint when we start this. And we're going to say drive course. What's going to happen is the AI worker is basically now going to drive on the course that we just set up. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to save this and I'm going to save it field, field um, 25 and it's a three, three meter um, cultivator. Okay. So we'll just call it field 25, three meters um and we'll do that because what we can do is we can come back later and use that course on something else that is also three meters in width in order to do other work on the field. For example, we can come back later and seed this tool because this has seed in it. Let me show you another quick way of setting up a course. So here we are on field 26. We're going to right click on it again. We're going to do this time. We're going to do seed and fertilizer because we want to guess what seed. If we had a fertilizer. We would our spreader, manure spreader, slurry spreader, our fertilized sprayer or herbicide sprayer. We're going to use seed and fertilize. So we're going to go to once again, course generation. Now, this is my preferred way of doing courses now because it's a lot simpler. We're going to click on this little gear icon. And it's going to pull up a mini map. And we're going to pick the field that we want to work on, field 26. So we just click on it. Let's zoom in. Okay. So we've picked field 26. Up here it says field path 26. No headland. Current vehicle position. Starting direction is automatic. Yes. Working with is three meters, one tool. We're all good to go. We're going to hit space. We're going to do a course generation. And now overlaid on the PDA, we get a representation of the path that the implement is going to take. Okay, so we're going to go back. We can see once again, we have our start point. We have our stop point down there. Click on the gear icon and the dots here. You can now see the entire course that the implement is going to drive. We're going to plant, let's just see, go back here, click on there, and if we plant wheat, we're going to use 144 liters of wheat, cost us $64 worth of seed. We're going to go ahead and click first waypoint and drive course. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this field 26, 3 meters. Okay. Now he is off seeding wheat. Go back over here and check and see how our 
cultivator is working fairly well. Now the last thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to set up this harvester on a course. And when we come back to the next video, we're going to talk about using course play to bale this straw and also to do some grass work. That's a little bit not advanced, but it is taking course play to the next level above and beyond what a simple hired helper will do. So far with the cultivate and the seed, we're pretty much just replicating the hired helper functionality. It's not doing anything grand. It's not doing anything great. We can do a hired helper with our harvester. But you know what we can't do? We can't hire a helper to bale the straw that the harvester has left. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. We're going to go to field work, horse generation. We're going to pick our gear because, well, quite frankly, that is the simplest way to doing it. I'm going to go field 24. Leave everything else where it is for now. Generator course. See the up and downs. We're going to hit back. Just going to check some of our other settings real quick. Going to say first waypoint, and we're going to check the F1 menu. Got straw swath enabled. We're going to save this field. Which field is this? Field 24. Save this F24, and this is a four meter harvest. Okay. And we're going to say drive course. Now the harvester is off, leaving a straw swath, and is harvesting the field. Okay? So that, guys, is kind of an introduction into basic horse generation. Uh, we demonstrated how to use field work, the field work mode, and how to use the seed and fertilizer mode. Demonstrated how to use the graphical user interface, horse generation, and how to do the old school coordinate method of basically picking northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, um, east, west, north, south, starting direction. And uh, in the next video, we're going to pick it up where we left off. We're going to actually use course play to harvest, or not harvest, but to collect the straw that our harvester is putting down here. Uh, we are then going to use course play over on field, uh, let's see here, I think field 9 is in grass. We're going to use course play on field 9 to mow the grass, ted the grass into hay, rake the grass, and bale it. We're not going to touch a single tractor during that entire process. Hey guys, if you liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. Let me know in the comments if you've got any other suggestions, ideas, or wants for other course play how-to videos got several how-to videos scheduled and planned in the future but just give me some comments if there's anything in particular you might want to see it might affect basically the order in which I set things up so until next time guys happy farming